There is a new app uh, for the um, uh, general service uh, ticket request. Um, you have to go through Power Apps. Uh, then you will see the link or the icon for the GSR app. Uh, if you wanted to select this app as a favorite, just go through the icon information and then you can select favorite and have the, that app on the main menu or the main part of the screen. So let's open this app and if there is any uh, update you will have a, um, on the top of the screen, you will have a, a message uh, where you can click uh, that uh, area and will update uh, the, um, the app. So basically you have three um, buttons, my tickets, uh, tickets assigned to me and login as, a, a, as admin. So let's say I want to try to log in as an admin, uh, and but I, I'm not a, an admin. So you will get this error. So um, let's simulate that I am uh, an admin now, and then I will get access to the summary screen. And you will see that uh, on the top that uh, it says you are logged as a, an admin. So, um, if you want to see this video, uh, you just press uh, the question mark uh, icon and then we'll go through this video that you will see published on YouTube. So, let's go back to home and um, let's say I want to see my tickets here the first step you have to do is to select your facility in my case is Macari so this is a summary where you have uh, 10 tickets uh, in total one is new and nine are completed so let's open the all tickets and here you have all the tickets that you have created and with all the status and you will see grayed out the Makari facility you don't have the option to to change that at this step at this stage so what you can do is to sort those tickets by by id by clicking the arrows so let's just say I want to just see the non-starter tickets. This is uh, the filter that I apply. So um, let's say I want to delete this ticket. Either I can go through the icon on the bottom and will ask me if I'm sure that uh, I'm going to delete the, the, this ticket. I say cancel um, I want to say okay let's edit this ticket and change something and then you also have the option to delete that ticket or submit the ticket with the modifications or cancel the action so um, let's say I want to see the details on these tickets so let's click on this arrow and these are the details where you have uh, the ID number, the description, who create, when was created the ticket, who created the ticket, when was modi modified, and to whom was assigned. And you have a status, a facility, priority, and category, and the description if there is any. So also you have a uh, pictures if, if you attach the pictures 
to do this, uh, when you modify or create a ticket, let's uh, do this to modify this ticket, you can attach and take a, a photo or uh, or a browse on your uh, library. So I'm, I'm not going to do this in, at this step, I'm, I'm going to cancel, but you can also delete the attachment that you have by pressing on the X uh, button on the right side on the file name. So let's cancel from here. So let's say I want to open my, if I have a, a, any ticket assigned to me, let's go to the second menu. And in this case, I don't have any. So let's suppose I want to change to TCT and I don't have any either. So let's go and, and enter as an admin. And in this case, I'm going to see all the TCT tickets because uh, I'm logged uh, as an admin. And you can see uh, the the total, the non-starter, in this case we have nine non-starter tickets, we have uh, 349 completed and 71 not ex executed. This means that uh, the ticket was closed and not executed. So let's go to all tickets and it's the same like in the other uh, pages, you can delete or cancel you can modify directly the ticket and add uh, some information like attachment uh, or uh, other or assign to as an admin you can assign to somebody let's say i want to uh, assign this to me okay and i'm going to submit this uh, I need a cosigner. Let's say in this case is a TCT. And again, assign to me. And submit the ticket. So if I go back and now I select my tickets assigned to me, I can see that in TCT I have one ticket assigned and is completed. So I can go through the menu again and modify and say that this ticket is not completed, is uh, in progress and then I check submit and we have uh, we have to change the filter let's say to all and then you have the process that has changed so basically it's a pretty simple app uh, if you wanted to close this app you just click the exit button and that's all that I have to say. So if you have any questions, just let me know. Thank you.